So. We got the Rival MT8. My team associated. The bigger version of the Rival MT10 that we have and love. This one's 6S. Ace scale. With a 4 millimeter thick chassis on it. Never seen that before. I took the controller in the side box. Yep. Looks like it has a 17 millimeter tire tool. Pretty darn heavy. I like it. Wow. I very much like it. It's very thick on the ends. Wow, that's a thick chassis. 25 kilogram servo in it. It's got a 2100 kilovolt motor. A 150 switches. amp ESC. Switches up in the middle. Yep. It's got chassis braces going across to the center brace. It's got an aluminum motor mount. It's got a, an extra little strap against the straps. Yep, that's nice. We'll be able to put some nice big fat batteries in there. I'm going to yes. switch out the plug. How? <laughs> how? How? You're on 6S on that. I don't get it. And the First tires. one ever we've seen with the 6S that only has one plug instead of the two. You get a team associated rival MT8 and you're going to play in really loose conditions like sand or water or something like that. Or a Take loose, the loose tires dirt. off. And or snow. seal the holes. So I see the wheelie bar positions right there. Hey, it's got rubber wheels, not plastic. There's wires going. Oh, there's tail lights right there. Nope, tail lights and headlights. The XP120 remote. And the tire covers are very strange that are on it. One thing right off the back, I'm noticing the gears, the pinion and spur, are completely sealed and there is no hole on the bottom. So hopefully that's not a problem because I see rocks getting in but not being able to get out. So we'll see if that happens. Whoa! Y'all see that? That's crazy! Those are some of the nicest shocks I think I've ever seen on an 8th scale. Those things are beautiful. Really thick shock shafts. They work so, they're so, so, so smooth. This is the craziest. It's like a build book. Instead of a blowout, it's steps. It's the whole install. To make, to, to, to build, build this. It. And that's how the... So one thing I do like to see is... Huh. So right off the bat I can tell the front differential has nothing in it. You can just feel there's no resistance whatsoever. So... The rear differential... Bad or good? There's nothing in it. That's bad. It's completely empty it feels like. And then, let's see... Oh man... The diff is completely empty too. I think we're gonna have to go through all three of these bad boys. And change the plug. And change the plug out. So now we'll we'll be able to do a comparison between this, the new sledge, because even though this is a monster truck, it's just an eight scale truggy, which uh -huh. is what the sledge is. Yeah. Too. But this and is more probably more incomparable to the max. For a whole whopping seventy dollars cheaper. No, it's not comparable to the Max because Oh the Max is only four S. Well the Max is not metal. You chassis. gotta compare the the metal chassis cards together. I mean yeah, you can but... compare other ones to it, but I think more people would rather see like the Arma and we can get our Pro Line metal chassis going. Yeah, but I I don't know. You guys tell us. What do you think that it's like? Which one are you contemplating, this one or what? So we have the team associated rival MT8 with their garbage tool that everything gets stuck in. This thing sucks. Here's a Traxxas tool. And I just realized they have Traxxas serrated nuts. That's what they use. So put the team associated slash Traxxas in the Traxxas tool. <laughs> and you could just use that instead because it's... 
This plastic Traxxas tool is an upgrade from this metal POS Team Associated so, one. So, $3, get yourself a better tool. Upgrade from what you got stock. Chester Bay, that's the bay. This is hail. Look at all the, the snow on the ground. <laughs> I'm from Arizona, so I don't know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we can make a snowball, man, with snow, big chunks of snow. Just it's... kidding, it's hail. <laughs> Lawn dart. Look, it's stuck in the ground. Look at that. <laughs> That's funny. Well guys, we tried to go to the beach, but it was freezing cold, because that's where all of the clouds were at. too cold today. This is why we're having a hard time making videos because it's just so darn cold. Okay, I'm gonna jump one big jump. One big jump? One In big the cold? Jump. In the car truck? So, before I do that though, in here, not trying to like be all freaky cold and trying to run around, I'm calmer and it's a lot funner to drive. I'm not flipping it over at all because when I was out there, I was just flooring it. And this one, you cannot just floor. I'm not giving it more than like half half gas. Otherwise, it's just gonna go over. But, like this, it actually handles phenomenally well. The shocks on this one are something like I've never used before. Here we go. Oh, you almost hit that pole. Woo! <laughs> oh, I flipped it, but I flipped it back over. Can't see because it's nice and warm in here, so my glasses are froggy. It's waterproof, clearly, because we are going through water like crazy. Thing just eats it up though, everything. It's so cool. Yes! Holy crap! Ew, that thing's dirty. Wasn't even doing anything. I was playing on the street. Not even, I hadn't even given it full throttle yet. I'm not kidding. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that crazy video we just did of this car. And, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> Gotta have an engine to it, right?